I must be very dull person <laughs> because because you tell us the truth over and over is very simple i understand what you are saying intellectually yet i haven't got it <clears throat> i have checked to see if there is any particular desire or impediment that is blocking my final attainment yes there must be one <clears throat> and that is i am dull this is the impediment this is the impediment hmm? when you can see i am jada is it i am dull so you have seen it you have separated from dullness isn't it when you can perceive and see things you have separated yourself from that and you are far away from it when you can see anything you have separate yourself from that that i cannot understand you have separated yourself from it therefore you very well understand that you are not it and first of all you say i cannot understand what is there to understand the impediment was to understand the impediment only is to understand the truth and truth can never be understood it is not an object of your thought hmm it is subject or beyond even subject how can you see it how can it becomes the seen or experience and then who are you to see the truth to experience the truth who are you hmm? who can ever experience the truth higher than truth will experience the truth is it it so impediment is only this that you are not accepting that you are truth this is the impediment so when you get rid of this imp- impediment that i am not truth then what's going to happen let this doubt not arise in your mind when this doubt arises then there are 35 million years crocodile standing like this and you are in the stomach <laughs> yes it's very easy not to give rise to this doubt that i am not truth this is a doubt impediment so what do you lose if you say i am free hmm? and you practice every day without any practice you enter into freedom in the night is it are you not free when you sleep then are you are you jada when you said are you dull in the sleep no. sleep will come to dull and to intellectual alike is it and no more is dull and no what is intellectual in sleep so um, these were the impediments you see so you don't need any impediment to become this or that keep quiet keep quiet that's all then it will reveal itself to you but if you want to hold it it can never be held who can hold it who can understand it and when you want to understand and you say i don't understand which is this understanding the power of understanding through which you want to understand do you get it what is this power through which you want to understand and that you are not understanding what is this tell me hmm 
I don't know. Hmm? Nothing. That it must be within you, not not somewhere else, isn't it? No, no thought comes to me hmm? for the answer. No, you have to find, you want to understand, through what you want to understand, what is this understanding itself, through which you want to understand something else. Which is this power, which is this energy, through which you want to understand, through which you can understand. What is this energy? Where is the fountain of this energy, through which you understand? So go back and find out through which I understand, not what is understood. Go back to the source from where you bring this understanding itself to understand something else. My heart is aching from longing to be established in the truth. That means this longing is not yet ripe. You must have some other longing. You must have some other longing. Tell me if you don't have. I can't think of any. Hmm? I can't think of any. What? I can't think of any. You don't think of any? Okay. If there is no other longing at all, this side, that side, above and below, and there is only longing for freedom, no other longing is all, no other desire at all except desire for freedom, no other desire except this desire, and you say, there are no other desires. If there is no other desire, one desire cannot stay alone without the support of any other desire. So now no other desire is left. What about this desire then? What will happen to this desire? Hmm? What will happen to this desire? We are 200 people here, okay? If everybody goes away and you are left alone, you are left alone, what will happen? You are left alone, what will happen? Nothing. Nothing will happen, yes. Because everybody has gone away. All the desires have flown away from the tree. Yeah. And everybody's gone away, now nothing is there. Only emptiness may be there because that you can't throw away. And now one desire of freedom is left. Do you understand what I'm speaking? Two hundred people here, one by one, are left. Nobody here. And now only emptiness is there. And you're longing to be free. What will happen to this? And what does it mean, I want to be free? What is the difference between emptiness and no other longing and this longing for freedom? What difference is there? No difference. No difference. What will happen to this longing, I want to be free? It will merge into it, isn't it? Yes. Therefore, I ask you, there must be some other longing. It will not work. The any longing is now concealing this longing of truth. So whatever you have to practice to remove the longing impediment that is concealing this, this longing for freedom. And you have not to long for freedom, it is already there, you see. So you have to remove, give up all desires for one second, for one second you do and see what happens. Everything will be offered to you unsought. 
Unsought, you would get everything. <laughs> yes. 